Good day. Today's job is um, one that looks very simple on the surface and you say, ah, yeah, that'll only take half an hour. And um, yeah, it's a little time consuming. The story is this, a friend of mine bought himself an English wheel. Uh, and for those who don't know what an English wheel is, it's a, it's a tool for shaping sheet metal. Uh, he's an old car enthusiast and so I suspect that he wants one to have a go at making panels or repairing or something like that. And it came with this on the bottom. This is used to adjust the height of the, of the pressure wheel. Or is it the other way around? Anyway, it's used to adjust the height. Now, this has got spokes on it. It's made out of steel. Uh, and there's a nut in here. But he asked, well, could I change it over so it used this wheel? Looks a little bit nicer. Now, I'm not sure about that one myself because I think the idea of having these spokes is you can actually give it a tap with your foot while you've got both hands holding onto your, your metal, but that's, that's his choice and that's one of the reasons why I don't want to basically just cut this nut off and bush that wheel with it. So I need to identify the thread in here and then put that on my lathe. Now that's a problem too because this is a 10 inch wheel and my lathe's got an 11 inch, uh, sorry a 12 inch swing and I think the, the um, face plate is only 11 inches so how I'm going to hold this is another interesting one however it's all fun and it's all learning so we'll see how we go as I usually do the first thing I want to do is make up a, a sort of a plug gauge to try the thread um, as I said earlier I'm not sure what size it is I think it's an M30 by 3.5 so I've got everything set up to a 3.5 I'll measure the thread with my uh, thread mic and that way I'll get what should be a good nominal thread and then I can take that out and try that in the part. Um, the existing part, check that that is actually the thread, but then that also gives me something that I can use to try in the uh, hand wheel um, to make sure that the thread I've cut there is actually, you know, to depth, size, all that sort of thing. There's my result. Uh, not too bad. Trouble is it's wrong. I tried it in the nut and uh, it wouldn't go in more than a, a thread or two. Now this was M30 by 3.5 and I sort of guessed at that because the nut has, was rather worn but I thought well maybe it is metric. There is a UN or, or a Whitworth thread, probably a Whitworth I, I guess, uh, which is inch and a quarter by uh, 7 TPI. Now 3.5 is 2.25 um, TPI. So um, looks like I get to part this off and uh, do that again. But it does show the benefit of uh, making a, a you know a check thread if you're unsure what the, the, the thread is because uh, if I'd tap the real part or bought, uh, you know thread cut the real part uh, I could have been in all sorts of strife. Here I am ready for attempt number three inch and a quarter uh, didn't fit in the the hole and that was probably the reason I went for thought it was a, a, an M30 to start with and so I've now going down to inch and an eighth uh, inch and an eighth and inch and a quarter have the same TPI thread um, characteristic so all I've done is taken that down to uh, inch and an eighth and uh, now I've just resynchronized my my tool uh, I'll try cutting this one and see what happens. Maybe it's the third time lucky. After three tries, I think I've finally cracked it. This is uh, inch and one eighth Whitworth 7 TPI, and that goes in there quite nicely. Now, for those of you wondering why I chose Whitworth and rather at UNC, it's because in Australia uh, a lot of old equipment 
is was British made, is British made. Uh, and so the chances are that it was a Whitworth thread rather than a UN thread uh, because we don't have that much uh, American uh, based equipment here. And in fact, for a long time in hardware stores, you could buy Whitworth nuts and bolts. Uh, UNC was harder to come by. Uh, now everybody's sort of starting to switch over to metric uh, and there's also some UNC so it's, it gets rather confusing. But there's my, there's my thread and using that as a gauge I can now mount up the hand wheel in the, 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 the lathe and cut a thread and use that to, to make sure that the, the thread that I'm cutting in the hand wheel and the uh, the thread on the on the machine which I haven't got matches. One added complication with this hand wheel is that this hole looks like it's uh, been drilled off centre. Um, that can happen. Uh, that could even be a cord hole from the casting process. Uh, the way you, you do that is you have a um, basically a rod of sand which goes in there and so if it's not correctly positioned it can be out a bit. But that to me looks like there's just a little bit of difference there between the the, uh, the the material thicknesses. So I'm going to have to try and centre this up using this boss and then hope that there's enough material in there to clean up so that the the uh, the threaded hole is, is then concentric with the wheel. It's a new day. Now some of you by this stage may be thinking, gee with a bit, bit of a scattergun approach to this um, uh, issue. Now I will say that some jobs are like this. You You get them You've got to work out what they are, you've got to try a few things and all that sort of thing. Um, it isn't helped because I've had a change in my personal circumstances, nothing bad, but it means that I've got to readjust to uh, what I'm doing and when and how and all that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, at the moment <laughs> it is a bit, a bit scattershot. However, I spoke to the owner of the piece of equipment, the English wheel, and he checked the thread, he happened to have a 60 degree thread gauge there and said yes it's UNC, so good, I can, I can make the thread in here UNC, except that when I, when I looked at this I thought well this is as cast and it's right because that diameter there is, is 25 and I can put that in there, wobble that out, it loses anything, but when I get down a little bit it sticks. So this hole has been cored out uh, with, a, with a taper on either side and as a result it's not a straight bore so I'm now going to have to bore this out. An M30 thread would probably just fit but because it's um, 1 and 1 8 inch which is around about a 28, 28 and a half millimetre thread it's not going to fit so the plan now is that I will bore that out to probably about 35 millimetres and then I'll make up a plug that goes in there and then weld that on because there's got to be a plate that gets welded on anyway. So that's the plan there. So I'm now just going to set this up in the mill, uh, centre on the, on the casting here, which seems to be reasonably round, bore that out so the hole is, is basically true to the outside and of a constant diameter and then I can get on and make a, make a plug for it. I'm now going to make up the nut to go inside the wheel. I've bored the wheel out uh, and this is, is a, a nice neat fit to that. When I finish this I'll part that off and then I'm just going to uh, TIG braze that onto the cast iron and I'm, fingers crossed that'll work. Of course this being a UNC thread I've had to make up another uh, dummy thread piece so I've got, now got a UNC, a Whitworth and a metric all around about that size. That's alright. This fits the spoked handle quite nicely and that confirms to me or at least you know gives me some some confidence that the nut on there is a UNC because if it was a UN uh, sorry if it was a Whitworth it wouldn't want to go on there. Uh, the difference between a Whitworth and a UN thread is just the the, uh, the pitch angle but that means that the um, if that was a Whitworth nut on there the peaks of the thread would be wanting to interfere with the the, the root of this thread so that's that's good. So here I am uh, about to put a thread into here. This is a little bit tricky because I'm going up to a, a face here 
So I'm going to set up my depth gauge over here and basically I'm going to be threading to the depth gauge. Um, once I get down to the end there at the depth, ga depth gauge depth, uh, I'll just lift, let this dwell and it'll cut its own relief groove. But um, yes, fingers crossed. So as you can see, my uh, test thread goes in and um, comes out nicely. It's a pity this is aluminium because that makes it means it's a bit soft, but uh, I'm pretty confident this will be good enough for the for the job. Uh, it's it's certainly a, a nice looking thread in there. All I need to do now is part that off and put that into the, the, uh, the hand wheel. Uh, a couple of spots of, uh, of braise and, and I'll be right. But uh, I'm running out of daylight at the moment. I've uh, got to go in and, and start uh, doing meal preparation stuff and all that sort of thing. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you for the next one.